So we're going to continue with the step down method. Remember, we've already decided on which method we're going to use to rank the support departments. Notice that I'm using service department and support department interchangeably. They mean the same thing. In this case, we decided to use method number three for ranking, and we said that IT should be allocated before human resources. When we're doing the step-down method, it looks very similar to the direct method, with just one little twist. Let's start with IT. It has $250,000 in that service department. Remember, under direct, I allocated it just to residential and commercial. But here, under this method, I actually recognize that Human Resources uses IT, and therefore I'm going to allocate IT to all three departments. I again need a driver, and I need a total column. In this case, the driver of IT, remember, is number of inquiries. And this time, I'm actually going to use the 650 with the 980 and the 1200. Human Resources, 650. Residential, 980. Commercial, 1,200, and the total, 2,830. I now take the 650. I divide it by the 2,830 and multiply it times the 250,000. That should provide the allocated. For human resources, that's 57,420. Now I take the 980 divide it by the 2,830 times the 250,000, and that equals 86,572. Finally, the 1,200 divided by the 2,830 multiplied by the 250,000, and that equals 106,007. Remember I said that we have to add these across to have a check to make sure that the total equals 250,000. And if you add these across, you'll realize that this equals 249,999, which does not match the 250,000. That's because the rounding here just didn't work. So what I do is I simply adjust one of the allocations. I'm going to change the 106,007 to 008. Now if I add it up, it equals 250,000, which is a match to what I had to allocate. I step down now and go to Human Resources. Remember that Human Resources is 340,000, but I've just allocated 57,420 into Human Resources. Therefore, I have to add that allocation into the Human Resource total, 57,420. This now equals a new total that I have to allocate out of Human Resources, 397,420. For Human Resources, I'm not going to allocate anything to IT. I'm stepping down, and every time I step down, I take one department off. So I'm only going to allocate to Residential and Commercial. I need the drivers, and I know from our chart that the drivers for human resources are the 12 and the 26. 12 for residential, 26 for commercial, and I need the total. The total is 38. I now use these to do the allocation. 12 divided by 38 multiplied by my new total of 397,420 is equal to 125,501. 26 divided by the 38 multiplied times the 397,420 is equal to 271,919. If I add these two amounts together, it's going to tell me whether the allocation is correct, and it equals the total amount in human resources. That would be 397,420. You can see that it equals we're in the right place. I'm going to do the same process that I did for the direct method. I'm now going to add up for only the two operating departments, residential and commercial. What am I adding? For residential, I'm adding the 86,572 plus the 125,501. That's going to equal the total allocated. For residential, this is $212,073. Now I'm going to do the same thing for commercial. I'm going to add the $106,008 to the 
That equals 377,927. If I now add both of these together, it's going to equal 590,000. Notice that this is the total of the direct cost for human resources and information technology. Now previously, I was also able to add down. I could take this 250,000, add in this number, and it would equal the 590 when we were using the direct method. But that is not true this time. You cannot add down. You can only add across. And the addition has to equal the total of the two service departments, human resources and information technology. But I cannot add down because this number includes a duplication of this amount. In that case, all that I can do is determine the total costs. So in order to do that, I've got to add in the direct costs for both residential and commercial. We know this because it's on the chart. Here it is, residential, 670,000, commercial, 980,000. I add them in and that will get me my total overhead costs. For residential, 882,073. For commercial, 1,000,000. 357,927. If I add these two amounts together, they had better equal the total of all the direct costs from all four departments. 2,240,000. And we see it's equal to 2,240,000. Exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, what are the pros and cons of the step down method? One of the pros is that it's fairly simple to use, although that depends on the number of service departments you have. It's fairly simple to explain to managers. Not as simple as the other method, but definitely simple enough for most managers to understand the process. This method also recognizes some of the interaction between service departments. For instance, in this example, we recognized HR's use of IT. What then are the cons? We don't recognize all of the interactions between service departments. This method requires us to rank the service departments in terms of services provided to other service departments. This can cause some differences in the allocation. In addition, the ranking can cause confusion when explaining the method to managers who, remember, have to cover these costs with their revenues. So, although the step-down method does have the benefit of recognizing some of the interaction between service departments, it does not recognize 100% of the interactions between service departments. As you can see, we did recognize the human resources use of IT, but we did not recognize the use of human resources by IT. This is still a better method than the direct method, where we didn't recognize any interdepartmental interactions. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was a positive learning experience.